This is Complex Conversation. In Conversation, John Singleton. Featuring activist, journalist, community organizer, and our host, D. Ray McKesson. And the trailblazing filmmaker behind the films Boys in the Hood, Poetic Justice, Rosewood, Higher Learning, and Shaft. Author, director, and writer, John Singleton. You're invited to the conversation. What was it like to, for your first film to get such a critical acclaim with the nomination and the Academy Awards? What was the impact of that on your career long term? Or it, it, helped like? me get, it helped me get a really great jump start within the business. Um, I was able to automatically have some type of seriousness, being taken seriously as, as a filmmaker. But also at the same time, I realized uh, I had to step my game up. Even doing that, I had to like really think about what I wanted to do as a filmmaker. and. Um, the only crutch I would say that I would have man, is that it made me real serious. You felt like you had to be serious because of the nomination? Well, I was a serious person anyway. I was like, you know, but... You're pretty lighthearted. No, yeah. before, I am, you know, I am now, but it took me a long time, like, after Rosewood was the movie that opened me up, because I said, man, I gotta calm down. So I just gotta just go with the flow and, and enjoy this for what it is. You know what I mean? Because I, I got so serious that everyone thought of me as just a really serious-minded filmmaker <laughs> and as a person. And how old were you? I, I was 27 when I made Rosewood. How did you get your start in the beginning? What was your, yeah. like, how I did you? boys in the hood. No, I mean, I, no. <laughs> I know that. My draw. I'm, I'm assuming you didn't just, like, write it and mail it off, and they were like, we No, I didn't write it, man. I, I wrote it, and then I pitched around town, and I got turned down everywhere, and then I initially got a handoff from another black man. People don't really acknowledge so much that anybody that black does something in, in, in any of one of these mediums, kind of a whole lot of times it's another black person that gives them a leg up. You know what I mean? That gives him an entry door. I gotta thank Russell Simmons because he read Boys in the Hood and he read it on the private plane. He's like, yo, this is the best script I ever read and I don't even read. <laughs> <laughs> and so he he got the, he talked it up to the studio and and um, he was supposed to produce the movie, but he cursed out the head of the studio and they said, fuck you, <laughs> we'll get a kid to do. <laughs> so like, and that's what got me started. And how was casting that? Did you get everybody you wanted the first time? Uh, yeah, I mean, and that's never happened since. I've never gotten everybody I wanted to film the first time. It's always been an anomaly um, since then. I think the movie worked because I didn't know what I was doing. You know, in retrospect, I, um, the casting director, Jackie Brown, we, we, the first casting session we had, the first person to come in to read for Trey was Morris Chestnut. And so um, he did a good job. And I said, okay, cool, made a note on the thing. And then Cuba Gooding Jr. came in, and he did an excellent job. And then I said, uh, okay, well, he's going to play Trey, and, and the chocolate one's going to play Ricky. I'm going to go eat. I'm going I'm to go to lunch. No, John, we got six more people. I said, no, fuck them. That's who I want. Um, I said, and then, and then and people, people sit out there waiting for their audition. I just left. And then, you know, I put all of my friends in the movie. And she was like, you can't put all your friends in the movie. I was like, I'm the director. You know, Reg Green came in, and he's in a wheelchair. I said, you got a world for a dude that was shot in a wheelchair. I'm in this wheelchair now because I was shot. I said, okay, man, you're in the movie. <laughs>